Today we are going to be talking about one of the most important things to know if you want to win games with Zed and that is his laning phase. I have talked about that topic in the past but this time we are going to go into more detail. Laning phase is a super important part of playing Zed. Zed's early game is not that strong so winning your laning phase is huge. Since Zed scales super good getting ahead in laning phase can allow you to easily carry the whole game. First of all let's talk about the early items that you can buy. There are two main options. Longsword with 3 potions or a longsword with a refillable potion. So what's better? Zed isn't such a good champion early level so you're going to struggle getting CS, especially against ranged champions. It's important to survive early levels and be healthy all the time in lane. Let's see how much HP you can get from each potion. As you can notice, 3 potions give you 160 more HP which can allow you to win your lane much easier and that's why I always go 3 potions early. Those 3 potions can help you out sustain the enemy laner which can help you get a kill or an extra wave which in my opinion is a huge win. That's why I always go 3 pots instead of a refillable potion. Now let's see how the laning phase plays out with Zed. At level 1 if you are playing against a ranged matchup you can only play passive and use your Qs to occasionally poke your enemy or farm some CS. There is nothing much you can do and you will probably get pushed under your turret and that's why I take E level 2 so it can help me get more CS under the turret. Against a melee matchup you can be more aggressive. At level 1 you can freely keep CSing with your autos and use your Qs to constantly poke your opponent. At level 2 you can even take W and use it to poke your opponent harder. When you finally hit level 3 that's where the fun can begin. There is two ways of how you can poke. W, E, Q and WQE. The faster one to hit both shurikens is actually WQE but the problem is that it's not very effective. The best combo to poke your opponents in laning phase is WEQ. The reason why is because you can slow your opponents after casting WE and then throw your Qs which results in more Qs being hit. But later in the game you can use the WQE combo and here is why. If your teammates stun an opponent, the best combo that you can use is WQE. The reason why is because it's the quickest combo and you will make sure that both Qs hit before the stun ends. So basically use the WEQ combo to poke in lane, later in the game you can use the WQE combo to follow up on stun targets. Another tip that I can give you to hit shurikens more often is this. You don't have to rush your WEQ combo. Sometimes it's better to just throw WE, wait for your opponent to start to dodge and then throw your Qs. Also what can help you is if you use normal cast so you can aim your shurikens. I personally use both. My abilities right now are on quick cast but when I press shift plus the key of the ability it turns to normal cast. You can adjust that in the settings like I did. When you hit level 5 your WEQ combo is going to hurt a lot more since you are going to have 3 points in your Q so at that point it's really important to start hitting those Qs. At level 6 you can kill your opponent but never force anything. A lot of inexperienced Z players will just ult at level 6 a target with full HP which is completely risky and then waste their ultimate and set it on a long cooldown. What I suggest you to do is to first try to hit as many WEQ spoke combos as you can and then after your opponent has lower HP then ult them. After your first back buy as much AD as you can. It's really important to use your gold as optimal as you can. If you have gold for just one longsword buy it but if you have more gold the best buy is to complete the Dirk and if you can afford it then buy even more longswords. 
If you only have like 300 gold left or 320, just buy boots. Boots are also really strong to get early on Z. One of the most important tips that I can give you is to never ever force anything. If you try to force killing somebody really hard, it might backfire on you. Just play more reactive and look at what your opponent does. Try to find mistakes that your lane opponents do. Zed is a pretty good scaling champ now, so there is no need to rush and force things when you can play reactive and just punish your opponent's mistakes when needed. You can decide when you want to go all in, not your enemies, so use that to your advantage. Now let's see some examples of laning phases. In this laning phase I'm against Aurelian Soul. First I play it more passive, but as soon as I hit level 3 I start properly poking him. Since I hit every Q because Aurelian Soul is pretty easy to hit, I can just pick up a free kill by flashing onto him. Notice how I use minion dematerializer on a cannon minion so I can push the wave super fast and recall. I think the best use of that rune is just to use it on a cannon minion so I can push the wave super fast and reset faster. I come back to lane with a dirk and a longsword, then I start zoning him from minions. When he gets closer, I use my ultimate to try to kill him. I knew that it would be super close and that at the end I won't be able to kill him, but the reason why I did that is so I can get him super low. At that point if he stays under turret, I will just kill him, and if he leaves, he will lose a wave and a turret plate. Basically, I already killed him there, even though he lived. Because of those two plays, I basically stomped the whole laning phase and there is nothing Aurelian Soul can even do now. Just winning the laning phase here results of me winning the whole game by carrying it and dealing by far the most damage. The next example is Malphite. Here at level 2 I take W because I'm playing against a melee champion and I'm not getting pushed in. I poke him over and over again with my Qs and when I finally hit level 3 I just all in him for an easy kill. Because of that kill, I hit level 6 before Malphite and here I know it's risky to dive him, but I know for sure that I will kill him. The reason why I still dive him here is because he will lose a huge minion wave which makes the trade of kills worth it. I almost even escaped that one, but it was still so worth because he loses so much experience and gold from minions. When I come back to lane I have my wave perfectly set up. Basically after diving him there I killed him 2 times. Because of those two plays, I easily won the laning phase because I was just too far ahead for that Malphite. I carried my lead from laning phase to completely stomp and win another game. And that's everything from me today. I hope you learned something new or just maybe enjoyed watching. See you guys next time!